Right now, somewhere on the north side of Richmond, a black man gets pulled over for driving aggressive. The on-site detective does a flashlight inspection inside his Lexus. Backup shows up and decides what's next is, pull him out the vehicle, determine that their lives were threatened, and just like that, another brother dies in seconds. This is the training that Israel provided them with, and again, this is exactly what IDF is. They say, but Joe, you're being anti-Semitic, really, because when I describe in depth the war crimes committed, not one time did I define or mention the subscribe religion of the guys that did it. That's just another Zionistic underlying tenet. Disguises victims to hide intention. And we all know you hire snitches to hide intentions. Fire rockets or throw rocks from the front lines, for instance, to launch a justified offensive. Ayo, hey, shout out to the Palestine resistance. Rebels watch their children die defenseless, must the courage to fight against this genocidal vicious massacre instead of letting their people die without any kind of vengeance. So unless you will let somebody occupy your residence, kill your family in front of your eyes to witness, destroy your life and business, degrade your people to some type of peasants, and you still wouldn't fight despite this instance, then don't ever fix your face to criticize their efforts. Yep. Amen. Amen. Right now, I got a gun inside my dresser that'll clap you and anybody that tries to enter. Fuck Netanyahu, fuck Kamala Harris, we applying pressure. <laughs> Blacks and Arabs unite together like when Malcolm took that flight to Mecca. Dogtown drove. Crime professor. Fuck 12. Defy oppressors. Free, free! Forever! Thank you. Free, free! Free, free! Forever! Free, free! Forever! Thank you.